Welcome back to Eat Color with Claudia. Did you know that you can make gnocchi, Italian gnocchi, using leftover mashed potatoes? That's what we're doing today. Leftover mashed potatoes are amazingly delicious in gnocchi. I'm not kidding. Uh, it's so much fun to use them because it never fails. We get so excited about make, making mashed potatoes and for some reason we make enough to feed an army, right? Since we're gonna be making dough out of the potatoes and the flour, be ready. Your hands are gonna get a little messy. Let's get everything else ready. And you need two trays to hold the gnocchi as you make them. And you wanna give the gnocchi plenty of room while they sit in the flour waiting to be cooked. Since I already have very, very tasty mashed potatoes, I don't need to add salt or anything else. It's just your leftovers. One cup of mashed potatoes, equal proportion then to one cup of flour. Now place your mashed potatoes on top of the flour that's on your work surface. And now just start mixing the two together. Now, if you've never made this before, you're gonna be thinking, how in the world are you gonna make dough out of this? But just be patient. This whole process is gonna take four to five minutes. When you make gnocchi the traditional way, like just using potatoes, obviously you'll need to prep them and all, but then you're gonna roll them out just like we're doing here. Every now and then you might just need to add like a, a teeny bit of flour. A sticky little squeak and you know your dough is ready. And this is beautiful gnocchi dough. Nice and sweet and smooth and beautiful. You might wanna just put just a little bit of flour on your work surface, not much, because we've already got the perfect amount of flour in our dough. Now I'm gonna show you how to roll this the Claudia way, because it's the only way I can do it. I have a, you can use a knife, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut this in half and I'm just gonna make some small little squares about this big, about the size of a golf ball. Each wool wants to be about three quarters of an inch thick. Most people when they wool their gnocchi dough, they make long ropes, like 12, 18 inches long. And I just don't have the coordination. I just roll it back and forth. I make small little baby ropes. These are all done, and I'm just gonna dust them very lightly with some flour. Now it's time to cut them, watch. And just little pieces. You can use a knife, and they say you just make these little bitty pillows. Are they not adorable? You pick up each little pillow, and you have a fork. Go down on your fork. So hold it here. Just use the palm of your hand and press it and let it go just good enough so you can get those grooves just like that. Making grooves on the sides of the gnocchi are important. Number one, it gives you the texture you want. And two, the grooves actually help the sauce adhere to your gnocchi. All the gnocchi is rolled. Now you gotta cook it. Get a pot of very, very salty water, get it to a boil. Let's talk about the sauce because your gnocchi is gonna take about one to two minutes and then it's cooked. So you gotta be ready to go. Like what are you gonna put for your sauce? A lot of people, you could just do plain marinara sauce, cheese sauce, a butter lemon sauce. We're doing a butter sage sauce. Get yourself a skillet, drizzle olive oil onto the bottom. Put your temperature on medium. Your gnocchi is gonna need a place to go before it goes into the sauce. The water is a gentle rolling boil, so let's get the gnocchi in. You see how the gnocchi has gone to the bottom of, of the pan? When it's cooked, it's gonna rise to the top. Watch how the gnocchi is just bouncing to the top. We'll just wait for these last little guys to come up and I'm gonna put them over onto the, onto the skillet with the oil. We're gonna use some of this pasta water for our sauce. We're cooking this gnocchi in two batches. So the gnocchi will cook properly. It'll have room to do its thing and not be crowded in the pot. 
the rest of my lovies are almost done. Here we go. I'm going to take these little guys out. I've lowered my temperature all the way to low because my gnocchi, I mean, it's in here. I want to get it coated with oil and we don't want to have to worry about them sticking to each other. And they're going to firm up just a bit in here too. This looks great. Let's move the gnocchi out of this pan so we make room to make our sauce. So I just put two tablespoons of butter in the pan and as soon as this foams up, I'm gonna put some sage leaves in here for a delicious butter sage sauce. I know this looks like a lot of sage leaves, but they'll get nice and soft here in, in the butter and they're not gonna be all that too powerful. They're just gonna be a delicious, delicious taste. And we'll wait for them to just kind of curl on the edges before we add our pepper and our pasta water and our milky. The pasta water, it enhances the flavor of the dish. Oh my gosh, it's like, it like it works as a binder and a thickener. I'm just letting this sit here until the juices are like reduced by half and you want to add black pepper. This is the quickest pasta dinner ever. It's hearty and loaded with savory flavor. And now for the final touch, some freshly grated Parmesan cheese. You sprinkle a little bit on top. I wish if you were here, you would be eating this with me. Oh, this looks so scrumptious. Mmm. Oh, delicious. It's, oh, that sage, it's like so earthy and flavorful. It's like pasta, it's pasta, but it's potatoes. It's crazy, I just love gnocchi so much. The consistency and everything is just absolutely perfect. Oh my gosh, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so, and enjoy your gnocchi. Bon appetit.